This week we celebrate Thanksgiving. And we will remember the first Thanksgiving story, this whole tale we tell ourselves about the pilgrims landing at Plymouth Rock and having a feast to celebrate the bounty of the land and the survival that was theirs because of the hospitality of the native people. And these were people who believed themselves to be led by God and led to what they would call the promised land. Just like the people in the scripture story, the ancient Hebrews, who standing on the banks of the Jordan, remembering their liberation from bondage, remembering their wandering in the wilderness, were about to embark on a journey into the promised land, which was inhabited. And they claimed their promised land by violently evicting the current residents. So it's not too surprising that our European ancestors took a cue from that and did the same. But in this passage, the people are being told to obey the law of God. That the whole point of wandering the wilderness, the whole point of pausing here before entering the promised land was to recall that God was in charge. And what is the law of God? Well, in Romans 12, the Apostle Paul would tell us that among other things, the law of God includes philoxenia. Philoxenia being a word translated as hospitality. It literally means love of the stranger. How would the story be different for us today if we could remember that we were the strangers on the shore that were welcomed, that hospitality was extended to us, and that we should be all the more humble for the blessings that we know today and also repent of the sin that brought us to this place. Perhaps philoxenia is how we should strive to overcome the hubris that makes us believe that it is all belonging to us and humble ourselves before God and really know our love of God by truly loving our neighbor.